one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful 1997 Lincoln Town Car. I want to say Ford Lincoln Town Car, but I just know somebody's going to get on me for that. But I love these big body Lincoln Town Cars. This is a one owner car. It's only got 83,000 original miles on it. Runs great. These service body body cars and motor drive lined cars are some of the best cars ever built with this 4.6 motor in it and such. Um, plenty of power, plenty of fuel economy, and all the luxury and comfort you can imagine. I've got in my uh, on my site there www.oneownercarguy.com. I've got a 08 Crown Vic and a um, oh man I don't know something else Mercury Grand Marquise. Yeah, an 03 or so. I'm gonna just jump in my car because I've got people coming. That actually they're going there, so I'm fine. Yeah. Beautiful car. That's gonna get out of somebody's way there, but we're okay for now. And I got a couple like that in there, and I'll tell you the Lincoln. It does definitely outclass the Merc and the Crown Vic. Um, Cadillac Mercedes is the only thing that comes close. And back in the '90s, man, when you made it, this was the car you got. You got yourself a Cadillac or a Lincoln. There wasn't no Mercedes. It wasn't what you got back in the mid '90s. You got a Cadillac or a Lincoln. This guy, you can tell on a one-owner car, they, this guy loved his car. Look at this. Put nice Michelin's back on it. I love a nice Michelin tire on a car. They do ride like no other. Um, I'm going to go around this car, kind of give you a... That was the once around right there. And that will give you the twice around. Kind of show you anything there is to show you. It's a beautiful car. And I don't know if I told you. I think I did. 83,000 original miles. I believe the car's been painted, at least on the top surfaces. You see a couple marks like this? And like this. It's a pretty good indicator. Um, and then a little bit of this. It's just wax on it. And yeah. So, but beautiful. I mean, but at some point... Could have been painted. Now this side they're not faded, the other side they're faded. I think I'd paint the other side silver. See and I should do stuff like that but at the same time I feel that I'm hiding things when I do that and I don't want to hide things. And let me show you what I mean right now. Let me flip over here. A couple dings right there. Small ding there. Where'd it go? Boom! So you can see where this side is faded out in color and man, I'll tell you what, tape that thing off and psh, psh, a little bit of high quality five, six, seven, eight dollar can of paint from Walmart and that'd be beautiful, look just you know nice. But then I feel like I'd be hiding something and I don't want to do that. This side's got that. Somebody might want that replaced with the factory stuff. I don't know. Um man, just going down the side, it's in great shape. Not all dinged up. A few chips. There's a chip there. A run. A little bit of wax on that right there. A little scratch right there. I'm all happy when I find something wrong with it. I am. Where's some dings I was telling you? Ding ding. And then that ding is right here. So hard, right there. So hard to see, but I want to be as upfront as I can. It's just super straight. There's a couple. Like a chip. And where you get a chip, sometimes you'll get like this. You can see that. And they chipped it right on the edge somewhere or something, and it got that little bit of corrosive type thing right on the corner. Um, beautiful California, non rusty car. Not all banged up going down the sides, in great shape. That there is a chip though. That's a little scuffy chip, two of them, and a chip there. Very small, but I'm picky. And see the same thing right there. And it's clear coat. So I'm thinking the clear coat was faded and they painted the top surface. Not 100%. Small scuff there. I actually touch that up a little bit. Beautiful on the wheels. Underneath this car is in great shape. I hope I showed it to you in the other video. I did, I think I remember doing it. Um, lenses and stuff are in great shape. This piece is faded out too. 
right into there. It's like this side got more sun or something. Well, that's your once, your twice, and all around. Probably a tiny, tiny ding right there. Not sure. Let's just say probably. I just caught it at a glance there. Beautiful car. Nathan 406544-6919. I just filmed the interior a second ago here at the house, so I'm going to clip that in right now. You got the test drive after that, and thanks for watching. I will ship this to any port in the world. You can call me up, Nathan, 406-544-6919, www.oneownercarguy.com. Here comes the interior. Well, I never know how I'm going to clip these in, but One Owner Car Guy, and I'm up here in the shade. And I'm going to show you the inside. I like showing the insides in the shade. Um, it makes it really easy for everybody to see everything. Versus in the sun with the different lighting coming down and such. Did I really take them keys out? I sure did. They're in my pocket. Come on, please, please, please. Yes! Okay. It's got this ugly steering wheel cover on it. And I didn't take it off because there is some wear on the steering wheel there that you can see. So, that's like that. Now, there's no rips and tears in the seat. It's got a little bit of this fold over where it folds over from sitting on it just a tad. Um, no rips or tears. Very, very clean. There's that little piece that's off right there. Now, you get real picky. I mean, you look at it. It's beautiful. Headliner, there's a couple marks like you see right there. And I can get a headliner put in. You can see right around the back. Where it's loosening up, and I'll show you that a little closer. Um, I can get a headliner put in this for 160 to 195 bucks, and they look amazing. These are not factory floor mats, but they do keep the floors protected, so I left them in. My foot dust is about the only wear, tiny bit of wear on that edge. I forget the mileage on this car. 70. That. Ah, let me get the key out. All the steering wheel controls you could ever want. Come on now. 83. Radio works. AC's cold as can be. I'm gonna go ahead and give you the the inside looks over. Um, that feels nice, but I want you to be able to hear me. You can select through all kinds of cool stuff there. My average speed is 33 miles an hour. Ah. I'm slow. And we have put some miles on this car. We've taken it halfway to Montana and back. Uh, all around town. As you can see, your mirrors work well. Mirrors. Okay, seat. Forward. Back. Tilt. Well, that's straight up and down. Forward, tilt down. Forward, tilt up. Back. Back tilt up, back tilt down. It's got the memory seats and all that. Um, everything could use a little bit of shiny. We don't get the best details on stuff, but we do okay. Uh, locks work and all that. Little thing that makes the mirror go down or whatever, I think. Let's see here. Lights are all good. Steering sensitivity thing or something. What is that? I don't know. Oh, I can't even get my camera to focus on it. There we go. It says steering. And then tilt steering, of course. You got all your cruise control and you can turn your volume up from here and all that. Change the station. Do the that thing. Do your climate control. All kinds of books. That is just extra stuff. I don't know what that went to, but it's in here. We pull the books out in the trunk. Lights work in there and all. SRS airbags everywhere. Um, you can program your garage door opener to it. Kind of a cool option. And you got your compass in there and all that. I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood. 
I'll show you under there. Um, man, no panel didn't switch. Can't think of anything else. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I forgot about the little lights down there. Oh, I didn't show you your cup holders, and this here ain't never been used. I like having the cup holders on. Now, this is a 97, and so on a 97, you have the, um, Xenon or Xenion or whatever headlights. It's the only year it comes with these headlights. Super cool. Struts are all good. Let me get this off my neck. I put it on my neck, take it off my neck. All that good stuff. Here you go. Great condition. You gotta love these. 4.6 motors like this. It's a great motor. Great car. Lots of power. Great fuel economy. Oh, we program PCM or something. Let me show you. Oh, I'm not. that's beautiful too. Grill looks good. Let's get under here and show you this real quick. It's not where I usually do it, but look at that tread on them tires. Ooh, buddy! Nice, almost brand new Michelins. Still got the skid plates and everything under here. Nobody's ripped them all off yet. Harder and harder to get up and down the older and older you get. Nice set of Michelins, man, I'm telling you. Now, these things are faded over time. I don't know if you'd want to paint them or what you want to do to them. But they don't look good faded, do they? Oh, I'm training. Look at that, man. Nice, clean, dry, good training. Here's Breeder. <laughs> Breeder! And can't even see her, I'm sorry. Yeah, I like my dog, okay? Um, floor pans are absolutely beautiful. You gotta love a one and two owner car like this, and I wish I had that auto check with me. Um, it's a one owner. Check the eBay ad there. I put the free auto checks in all of them. I look at it when I buy them, and you know, it's not a foolproof thing, but it is nice to kind of figure out a little more. And some of this even vacuum out. Look at that. It's just not 100% cleaned up. Now I'm going to take a second to open this up here. It's got some of the records in here filled out. Got all the books and stuff with it. Oh, another one. So there's that. I'm trying this new thing where I can take a picture while I do this, and I think. See, that looks nice, don't it? Oh, by the way, add me on Facebook. I put links in here to where you can um, see all the pictures of stuff and different things. CD changer, now this CD changer is not bolted down. and I have not tested it because there is not a cartridge. It does make the sounds, it is hooked up. You would assume it has to be screwed down. Air suspension switch, and that's another thing on these. The air suspension and the shocks on this one are good. This goes down like it should. Tail lights are in great shape. Nice, nice car. You can see where he ran a little tape on that to try and fix it in the back. Back, let me. You know, I didn't do this the way I normally do this. I missed that side. Back seats in great shape. Back of the front seats are in great shape. Floors, great shape. 
And like I say, them aren't the factory carpets. But they're nice. Now the spring, there's something on these that's wore out. And they will not stay without falling back. Um, Two-sided tape or something, the Velcro stuff. I didn't want to just hang them back on you. I want you to see that that's what they do and they just fall down. Both sides on the back. So, I don't know, maybe you can put them back on track. That's the little things that I'll leave on something like this. Now, a headliner, if my interior guys were faster, I would have them just do it. Bam! You could probably get it done in town where you are there, just as easy. Um, but I can get them done for under 200 and cool cup holders in the back. I didn't know that. And um, gold coin, gold coin. No. A couple of these pieces, though. I don't know where they go. Oh, adjustable seat belts. I didn't know that. That's cool. Showed you the tranny. Look at them tires, man. I'm going to go up top. I haven't taken the outside yet. So this will be one of them ones. Oh, look at the back axle. Great shape. Everything on this car just clean as can be. This camera is very odd about the way it adjusts adjusts to low level light settings. It does a good job. And a lot of people... Oh, that's a little loose right there. He scuffed it. That's a little loose. It needs a little clip or something probably. A little scuff there. Glad I seen that. Well, that's your interior review. Um, why don't we just do this backwards? That's what we'll do. <clears throat> we'll just go up top from the interior review. Now think about that. I'll have to clip in the auto check and a picture of the car or something in the beginning. I don't like jumping right into the interior. I do like these queen palms here, going down the driveway. Beautiful day. I don't know what you can see in that little thing there. It's beautiful with them clouds and such out there. I have a lot of people comment about that little S70 or S80. I don't know much about them. Probably S70, S80, what is it? S70. It's sitting there all the time. Runs, drives, shifts, great. I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn around here. Show you the test drive. Here we got all these people up here. And head out. Now, I'll probably take pictures somewhere else because I had a congregating group there. Now, I've left Breeder at the house, unfortunately, and I've got to go back. But I'm going to get the test drive in on this, and it just cranks right down the road at 37. ABS light is on there, and I believe it's probably a sensor because all that works great. Um, but it's on. And I've got a code scanner there. I might try and give that a code scan. Make sure and read the eBay ad. I disclose anything about them. Um, and I'm just very, very upfront about these cars. It's not a brand new car. Um, I deal in one and two owner because I believe that they were maintained better. Just 100%. Now, what you heard there was the spare tire fell off that thing because when we detailed it, they took it out and they didn't screw it back down. So, I've got the screw for that and I'll get that put back on. Car steers great, drives great. It's like riding on air. If you're, if you're looking at this car, you probably drove one, and if you drove one under a 96, 97, I do think they run and drive a little different. Maybe it's just because of the motor, the drive line, the way it is. 
and it's just a little bit more pazoodle for your padoodle there or something. Pazoodle for your padoodle, huh? I don't know. But I know that they do seem a little bit nicer. She thought I was leaving. Okay, that's your test drive. We'll clip the rest in here tomorrow. And, man, that's about all I know. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. This could very well be your ending. I don't know. Or it could very well be in the middle of it. Beautiful Lincoln. 1997 Lincoln Town Car. One owner. 83,000 original miles. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. We'll talk to you.